Hello guys, good morning. Today uh, we're going to start uh, this RATCH planning uh, part 2. So let me put uh, some light on the uh, RATCH pad so that moving forward uh, there will be no issue in understanding the RATCH. You eat done sun from sleep mode or uh, performs handover or handoff from one cell to another when it loses uplink timing synchronization. So these are, these are the three uh, main reason why uh, random access is generally performed. Secondly, uh, the types of random access, there are two types of random access, synchronized and uh, non-synchronized random access. The purpose of random access is to acquire uplink timing synchronization and acquiring uplink resource allocation information. And lastly, the physical channel which is used in LT RATCH is PRATCH or the physical random access channel. So that's all about uh, RATCH to understand and to start with. Moving forward, uh, uh, we'll see you know the advanced planning procedures for RATCH. The second stuff I'd like to tell you is uh, the bandwidth of uh, VRATCH is uh, 1.8, 1.08 equivalent as 6 uh, resource plots. Uh, that means 864 subcarriers, which is around 1.25 kHz per each subcarrier. So that's how VRATCH uh, bandwidth is. For frame structure type 1 in FTD, there is at most one random access uh, you know, resource per subframe is used. There are 64 types of PRATCH configuration available, uh, which restrict PRATCH to certain time resource. So that's uh, these are some facts about the PRATCH. The third thing I want to tell you is the PRATCH burst, uh, how the PRATCH looks like, what all there in the PRATCH. So I would like to say uh, these are three things included in a PRATCH burst. One is the cyclic prefix or the T cyclic prefix, the cyclic prefix timing. The preamble sequence otherwise called as TSEQ or the sequence path of length T SEQ is used in between and there is a guard period or the GP. So cyclic prefix, preamble sequence, then the GP. So between GP and CP we are having uh, you know preamble sequence. So these are three different timings used in a P RATCH burst. The TCP or the timing for cyclic prefix, the T SEQ or the timing for uh, sequence part or the preamble sequence and the GP or the uh, guard period. So these are the three things used in the PRATCH burst. Moving forward, uh, what are the preamble formats used? In FDD we are having three, four formats used. Format 0, 1, 2 and 3. Depending on the TCP, TSEQ and TCP time. That means uh, the cyclic prefix or the sequence or the you know the grad period timings so normally uh, bust length depends on, on uh, bust length length are different for this all these formats for a uh, type 0 we are having 1000 millisecond type 2 2000 millisecond type 3 2000 milliseconds and type 4 is 3000 milliseconds so there are four different burst length used preamble format 0 1 2 and 3 respectively we're having timing of cyclic prefix which is again different uh, in all these four uh, preamble formats that starts from 103 uh, microseconds uh, in type 0 in type 1 we use 684 uh, 
0.4 something microseconds type 2 you use around 203 microseconds and type 4 or the fourth preamble format we use uh, uh, 684 microseconds so that's the ESP used in all different uh, uh, PRAT uh, preamble formats then the next uh, stuff is D sequence used in all these formats so for type 0 preamble format we use 800 uh, microseconds as a uh, timing of preamble sequence for type 1 we use the same 800 uh, microseconds for type 2 you use 1600 microseconds and for type 3 or the fourth preamble format we use the 1600 microseconds again the TZP or the guard period for this preamble sequence uh, 0 to 3 or post to 4th preamble format we use uh, 96.9 microseconds for type 1 or the preamble format 0 for 2 we use 515.6 microseconds for 2 or the third type we use 196.9 microseconds and for type 4 or the preamble format 3 we use 715.6 microseconds don't be confused with preamble format type and the numbers there are four types type 0 type 1 type 2 type 3 and I call it first second third and fourth so don't be confused with that and uh, what is the maximum multipath delay you know extension or the TMD multipath delay timing used in all these four formats that I will tell you so for preamble format 0 it's 6.2 microseconds TMD or the uh, you know multipath delay for preamble format 1 it's 168.8 microsecond for preamble format 2 it's 6.2 microseconds and for format 3 we use 15.4 microseconds so the highest uh, uh, TMD is used in type 1 or the number 2 preamble which is 168.8 microseconds so these are some more facts uh, about uh, uh, this uh, RAT and the next thing I would like to tell you is uh, the maximum cell capacity uh, for this all preamble uh, format used in MTD so for preamble format 0, we can achieve 14.5 kilometers. For preamble format 1, we can go up to 77.3 kilometers. For preamble format 2, we can go up to 29 kilometers. And for preamble format 3, we can go up to 100 kilometers. Yeah, that's correct. So for the four format uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, we can have the maximum cell radius 14 kilometers, 17 kilometers, 29 kilometers, and 100 kilometers respectively. So I think um, we have learned a lot of uh, stuff about this P RAG and uh, the format, the type of uh, parameters used in different format. So in the next session, uh, we'll be covering uh, the background of PDH planning and uh, we'll learn the root sequence, okay, preamble sequence. So that's all about the next session. Uh, we are going to uh, deliver. Thank you so much for watching this session. Please do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below this video. Till then, stay healthy, stay happy, keep watching and be aware. Thank you. Bye-bye.